What is up you two? Today I'm coming back at you guys uh, with another hat tutorial. Haven't done those in a while. So today I wanted to show you guys how to you know just turn any hat that you guys may have at home <clears throat> and shape it. Today we're gonna go for uh, for this Hank Williams Jr. style that we have right here. This is um 70s style that he would wear back then. Old Bocephus. Um, yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna turn on the steamer and show you guys step by step. So the first thing is to get your steamer really hot. You know, get it going. It's like a fedora from the top. You guys see that? The crown. It looks like it has a little bit of dip towards the back. And as to the brim, a round brim not squared like this one and it has a lot of like dip towards the front from what I'm seeing you know get the brim nice and soft take out all the creases that uh, it already has yeah I haven't done head tutorial in a while I noticed that they're my like most viral tutorials like that I have the most views in and uh, yeah I'm, la I'm lacking you guys hear the noise it's from the, from the steamer. All right, now that we got it nice and soft, we're just gonna flatten out all creases that you had. You put it down on the table and flatten it out. You can use an iron just to make sure. Not, not on, just you know, to use it to flatten it. So you burn the hat. You don't want to do that. This is a, this is a 5x Stetson. This is beaver, beaver fur. This one's being a little stubborn, but we'll get it. Get flat. If you guys haven't checked out my fitness content, um, I'd appreciate it if you guys checked it out. I barely have any views on there on my fitness videos, so I'll check them out. I'll put a link down below so you guys can watch my last video, which was a push workout. So yeah, if you guys want to go check that out. And then also, want to start vlogging. Take out the creases that we have on the crown. Um, just you know, do one by one. Usually, what I like to do is I take out the sides, you know, steam them, push them out, and then do the middle, push it out, and you know, it works just fine. I'll show you guys right now. All right, so we got one all steamed up, right? But you put your hand in there, inside the hat, push it out just like that. Okay. Try to push it out as much as you can. Look at it from the side like this, and you'll be able to see like some little wrinkles in there. So just try to push them out as best as you can. Okay. So, same thing for the other side. Go ahead and push it out just like that. Then now the middle. See how both sides are done. Now we got the middle. All right. Now that we got it all steamed up, guys, just put your hand in there again. Push it up. What I like to do is push from the front and then work my way towards the back. You know, just smooth it out with your hand on top as well. Keep working through it. You know, steaming it again. Like, try to get it as best as you can. You can do that, but in this case, it's not really bad. You know, Hank never wore his hands like perfectly in the crease. They look, they look a little bit like worn. So he has like pins in there, you know, really punchy. All right, so for the next step, so this is the front, right? What you're gonna wanna do is um, put steam first on, I don't know, either side. Put steam on here, and that's gonna get us the first like crease, right? I'll show you guys. All right, so you're gonna take your hat, you know, cut the steam on there so you, you just basically put your hand like that and you'll be able to make that crease pretty simple you know just doesn't even look um like neat 
by the looks of it, I'll show you guys a picture again right now. So yeah. And then go ahead and put steam on the other side. So we got steam on the other side. I try to make them both the same. Just like that. Right. Just basically making a hole with your hands into the into the crown. We'll smooth them out. Okay. So I got that. So from the looks of it that I'm seeing right here from this angle, um, he has a, like a dip towards the back. So let's try to do that. You just get steam on the crown, like on top of the crown, this part. And yes, I did come with mullet, guys. I don't know if you guys seen my last video. I had a mullet. It's pretty long. I like to like down here, cut it off. Since I'm working construction, it gets really, really dirty, messy. So bye bye mullet. So you got steam on top. Um, and you just basically push towards the back more than anything like leave see that see how there's a dip you do that you know, make it look like kind of like a fedora and that's it guys for the crown basically you know, this hat doesn't look that neat you know it doesn't look like it was it doesn't look like it was um shaped by a machine or anything it just looks you know, kind of worn out, which makes it a bit punchy. And then, the next step is the brim now. So, let's look at the picture again. So, yeah, he's got a lot of dip towards the front, right there. So, and then he's got that round, so we're gonna start off with the front. I'm just gonna put a lot of steam right here in the front. I'll turn my heads like this, because sometimes steam might mess up the you know the band, the sweat band. All right, so we got the steam in the front. Now what you want to do? I put it right here, and then on that surface. Then I start pushing with my thumb like this, like this, and then I start making a round shape. And then also try to push down. That's gonna create the the dip it has, you know, almost like that, right? Now what I'm gonna do is put more steam, steam on the side and work my way towards the back, you know, to give it a dip. And it looks like those are have some dip on the back, so we're gonna curl this up more. So we got the steam on it. You guys want to just curl it up, curl up just like that. Just like that. Curl it up. See, now let's do the other side. Pretty simple. Same thing, curl it up. And then look at your hat like this from the top. Look at it to make sure you're doing both sides, you know. Make sure you're getting both sides the same. You don't want one side look different because hats just don't look right when they're different from both sides. There we go. See? Kind of looking. Okay, now we're gonna work our way to the back. So this side, towards the back. Put some steam on there. Do the same thing, kind of curl it up and push down at the same time. So you can get a little bit of dip. You can put it on your stomach or chest or whatever. And then push down like this. Same thing for the other side. The other side, because you want to match it. Remember, match each side you know, give little touches to it you can do this give it more dip um, and then it looks go there we go that is the hat guys ah, the, the hat guys Ooh. um looks like the front's a little bit off let me set up real quick. Alright, we got the steam on there. Just, oh. Here's your old Bo Cephas hat in the 70s. Um, I'll try it on for you guys. 
I personally don't like this style, but I don't know. I just wanted to make a video, a new hat shipping video. But here it is, guys. I don't like how it looks on me. So, yeah. You guys can put any kind of band you want on there. Um, there's a side view. Um, yeah, for all you old heads, if you guys like, you know. 70s, 80s styles, you know, I'll probably be coming out with more hat tutorials like that, yeah. and yeah, that's pretty much it, here's a hat, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, subscribe, check out my other content, my fitness content, and um, make sure you turn on your notifications, because I'm going to be posting more often now, uh, might start vlogging soon, and thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for 600 subscribers. Let's get to 1K, guys. And um, thank you guys so much for the feedback you guys gave me on my hat shipping videos. Thank you for you know your comments. They're you know good or bad. They're helpful. But yeah, we, we're just starting off, guys. Just expect me to be making more content soon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys on the next video. Oh, 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 o